Welcome ESA Explores listeners. I'm your host for today, Laura Zermühlen, and in this series, we're meeting the members of ESA's Astronaut Reserve. During the first phase of their Astronaut Reserve training here at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne in Germany, they are mastering key skills in spacecraft systems, robotics, scuba diving, and survival training. Today, we're speaking with Amelie Schönenwald from Germany, a scientist with an impressive background in biotechnology, business administration, and structural biology. Let's listen as she gives us her insights into the challenges and rewards of astronaut reserve training. Hi, Amelie. Welcome to the ESA Explores podcast. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> How was your feeling, or can you describe in one word what you felt when you knew that you were selected for the astronaut reserve? In one word, stunned. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Why? Uh, it was just an incredible feeling and I, it was such a long process. It was almost one and a half years and that was the end, basically. So I was just really overwhelmed and stunned. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And now that you're here at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, how was your journey until coming here and then arriving and starting the training? You know, the funny thing is I, I arrived here and I haven't really been here before except for the selection, which was very, very short. But when I came here, it almost felt like coming back home because <laughs> everybody was so welcoming and it was just an amazing atmosphere with everybody here, like seasoned space veterans, but also young and motivated uh, interns. And everybody's here just to work in the space sector. And that was just truly amazing. Yeah. Coming back, seeing familiar faces. Exactly. <laughs> And, nice. new faces. And new faces. A lot of new faces. <laughs> nice. And what have you been training on then so far? And what was your favorite aspect? Mm -hmm. So we had a really wide range, but I had just picked two things that I really enjoyed the most. First of all, the diving. <laughs> so going into the neutral buoyancy facility here at the NBF and go diving with a team that's so experienced and extremely Warm. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And Warm water I, as well? Or? Uh, 28 <laughs> degrees, but okay. I don't mind even hotter water, so that's <laughs> <laughs> for the record. <laughs> But it was warm enough to, to spend the dive there. Yeah. And the second thing I would like to highlight is the exercise, because mm. it's the first time that I actually have exercise in my work schedule, and I really enjoy that. <laughs> so you do exercise as well a lot outside of work? Outside of work, not so much, as much as I can fit into my schedule, but here it's the only time I actually have it during my working hours. And yeah, I, yeah. I love that. Nice. And what do you need it for, the exercise here at work? So astronauts <laughs> need to be very fit, because uh, spending... Uh, longer times in space actually has an impact on your body mm. and uh, we do a lot of fitness assessments in the beginning to monitor our health during the time that we train before the mission yeah. but also after the mission and as well as during the mission yeah. so it's really important to stay healthy yeah. to be prepared for missions but also to see what kind of impact the missions have on your body yeah yeah makes sense and um, from your background because you're not always here training Uh, doing the astronaut reserve training. You have a background in biology <laughs> and also did some project leadership. So what aspects of life science research in space do you find the most interesting? So for me, personally, the most interesting things are the ones that I have not touched yet because mm -hmm. it's new. But uh, going to my experience so far, my professional experience, I really enjoy everything that's been researched on the ISS, the Interna International Space Station, um, that has to do with physiology and medicine, mm. because those are the things that actually impact humans' lives the most. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of experiments going on with organoids. So that's a really nice uh, model that we can use to exploit um, cells' behavior for human disease. Right. Can you give an example? So, for example, cancer is, uh, yeah. is one of the, the main topics that people look at, but there's also a, a whole variety of other things. Yeah. yeah. And then also you did some project leadership as well. And here as well, it's a lot about teamwork and in space as well later. What do you think is the most important when working in a team and to, to work and live together in space maybe one day? <laughs> so I think you know, the most important is to, to know yourself really well, but also to know the team mm. before you go into a mission or before you start a project. Because uh, before all the pressure kicks in, uh, you have the time to get to know each other you have the time to converse and like, yeah. dig deeper of what the person is about and then when the project starts you know exactly how how to behave and then you're also prepared for i don't know things 
going wrong, for example. Yeah, or unexpected. Or things. just yeah. turning harder than you expected. Yeah, yeah. And the teamwork here, how is it going? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a dream, really. Oh. <laughs> um, so there's two aspects that I would like to highlight. So the first one is uh, the team um, with my colleagues. Mm -hmm. So the other members of the reserve. And unfortunately, it's only five of us. So we're the first group. So yeah. I, I have the chance to meet all of those, including me, four other, <laughs> yeah. four other reserves. Uh, and we can spend time to, with each other, have, have fun with each other, learn with each, each other. But the second group will come in January. Mm. And I'm also really excited to have uh, some more time with them. Yeah. And also they, they, when they speak to you, they will already know what's coming. So I exactly. guess. Exactly. <laughs> we can prepare them. <laughs> you can prepare, yeah. And the second aspect is uh, not only my, my colleagues, but also the entire team here at the European yeah. Astronaut Center, like you, for example, or everybody who has been involved <laughs> in, in uh, designing our schedules and maintaining yeah. it. and. Uh, <laughs> And all the trainers as well, they are super motivated and it's just yeah. really fun to spend time with these people, work with these people and just be part of the whole team. Part of the team. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's really cool. And what training is coming up that you're also looking forward to maybe? So <laughs> there's a lot of things that are coming up, but uh, imminent is uh, the winter survival training, mm. which will happen in about two weeks time. And I'm extremely wow. excited about that one. <laughs> so we will spend uh, one week in the mountains and there will be snow and yeah. it will be very cold. And it's not only a survival training, but also a team exercise. Yeah. So it's about teamwork and uh, in the snow. <laughs> in the snow, exactly. In a very freezing. isolated area, I imagine. So, uh, yeah, the environment will be very challenging. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And it will be the final week of our first part of the training. Yeah. So I think it's a very nice ending to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the teamwork will be great even after that then. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great. That sounds amazing. What's one word your friends or family would use to describe you? Energetic. Ooh. Do you feel this yourself as well? Most of the times, <laughs> not always. <laughs> <laughs> so also during the training, I guess, so the exercises and that matches the energetic spirit, I guess. <laughs> It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I think that's a good, uh, a good thing to have here. Do you have a favorite space mission? Yes, I do. Um, for me, my favorite mission is Rosetta because mm. it was the first rendezvous with a comet yeah. and also the first time we landed a lander or deployed a lander for the surface of yeah. a comet. So that's really cool. And um, there's also a video for those who haven't seen it yet on YouTube in several European languages and you should check it out. <laughs> Very good. We will drop the link. Awesome. <laughs> so people can check it out. <laughs> Amazing. Another fun question now. Would you have a favorite space related joke that you can tell us? Indeed. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so why did the sun go to school? I don't know. To get a little brighter. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one, actually. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Oh, so thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today. And I wish you all the best for the next part of the training. And we'll check on you again for the winter survival. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. <laughs> It's been fantastic to hear about all these exciting steps our members of the Astronaut Reserve are taking. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and share it with anyone curious about space. Be sure to follow us and our Astronaut Reserve members on social media and visit isa.int for all the latest on our missions, training and behind the scenes updates. Until next time, stay tuned and keep exploring with ESA Explores. <laughs>